How's it going, guys? I'm gonna do an app review of a uh, mobile remote, uh, no, mobile mouse pro and mobile mouse for the Mac and iPhone 4 or iPod Touch or iPad if possible. And uh, it's an app where basically you don't need the mouse. Like you could hook up your computer uh, if you have a laptop, hook it up to HDMI, and you could have it on your computer or whatever. Uh, I'm using it regularly on my Mac, as you can see in both of the cameras. So first test is to go play with uh, Angry Birds, and uh, right now you see it's very responsive, but you can't hold down the clicky button, like if you want to go copy and paste them, it's very hard. Or if you want to like drag a file over iChat, very hard. So, uh, trying to play Angry Birds, uh, I keep on seeing what you can do. You can pinch and zoom out and in and, uh, but let's see what happens. So, uh, you could adjust with the picture and stuff, uh, also with the controls that's there. So, I figure I just clicked it menu and quit. So, uh... After that, uh, I went and uh, gave Google Chrome a test, and uh, it opened up very fast. And uh, after I gave Google Chrome a test, uh, I decided to go to my main YouTube channel, youtube.com slash frankj561. If you're not subscribed, you should be. So uh, I'm trying to type it in, and I'm having a little bit of trouble because you can't use the keyboard in landscape, which how I always text in. So I messed up, so I had to go type it in manually from the keyboard just to go see if I could be able to get the better controls in. So, uh, after I did that, now now you shake to get rid of it, and uh, there's a video there, one of my last videos. It works when you go full screen. It uh, always works, and then you'll see how it works, and then I have full control to the dock. And you also have your F keys, like escape, F1, F2, F3. You can control your brightness, your sound, your volume, everything. You can uh, control your numbers. It's so much. It's like you're sitting really in front of it. But you're controlling it all through your iPhone, and I really like it a lot. And I do got to recommend this app, but it also depends, so stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Now, I'm sitting here, and I'm showing off the rest of the features of, like, um, how you could go through your iPod controls. It could show, like, all the F-Shift buttons and stuff, and, like, uh, also how Dashboard can come up, because Dashboard can come up, and then you can play, like, uh, widgets and stuff on it. And uh, to think that this is a free app if you're jailbroken, and then when you go through the dock, it shows up of what you want. So it comes with an app called Mouse Server that you need to have on your Mac, and then it comes for Leopard and Snow Leopard. Link down in the description. And then there's an app for in the App Store for one ninety nine for the iPhone. Uh, it's worth it, but at the same time, it's not. It all depends on how much money you have in your iTunes account, or if you're jailbroken. If you're jailbroken, it's a must. But if you're not jailbroken, so now I'm trying to click a link from uh, Johnny Ugly, and uh, I kept on doing it, but my internet was being horrible. I was uploading a YouTube video, uh, and then after that, it was I don't know what happened here, but I uh, trying to do it, and then uh, I lost control of uh, it, and then the camera went out of frame, and now I'm trying to show more of it off by uh, typing and then uh, I started the texting and then I brought up more of the iPod controls because I kept on changing the song and I realized I couldn't put the song in this video because of copyright and then now uh, it looks like uh, now I'm scrolling now uh, now I want to open up photo boots okay and you see the setup of uh, me with a tripod and a iPhone and the camera facing the laptop it's basically what you see in the bottom box on the photo booth. so try and take a picture with it I took a, pic, uh, a picture controlling with a photo boot. And then now uh, I'm messing around now. What do you do usually when you take a picture of a photo boot? I don't know. Usually most of the time I like to take a picture. Or no, what, do, what did I do? Oh, I went to Facebook. Okay, now I'm on Facebook. Now what do you normally do on Facebook? You check your friend's request and see if you got any new ones. Okay, I went and did that. Then I pulled up the F shift keys again and to show that everything works on it because some people's having problems with problems shooting problems with so I went and I went and uh, DM'd my friend Rachel DP uh, not DM uh, private message her uh, I am her and then uh, I was texting her hey what's up and then uh, as I was doing that I was trying to text more and then I couldn't do it because I clicked the erase all button because the keys ain't the same as it is for normal texting or SMS on the iPhone so now I went on Twitter and now I'm gonna do a new tweet and I'm gonna use it all on my iPhone and you see in landscape you can't use the keyboard which uh, sort of really sucks because the keys are way too small in portrait so then, uh, I like it but it gets a little bit hard getting used to at first like now I'm actually using it right now to fully edit this video and then you'll see how it works 
as I'm doing a tweet and uh, I'm tweeting now and then um, the tweet basically says guess what I'm doing and then uh, I wanted to put that picture that we took on photo booth but uh, you'll see what happens in a second where you can't do the click and drag and the other thing is that I couldn't really find it in any sort of way in the finder I mean it's the finder man you're supposed to find things from there but I guess that's a lie false advertisement so uh, I went to finder trying to find it and uh, basically I give it a good app review guys uh, five stars so go download it later